Tonight, CVS is officially out, but plans to boost the Benson area are still on a fast track. That was the word tonight at a community meeting. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kevin Bouton was there and tells us what's in store. I want to highlight this will not be easy. Benson business owners and residents got the bad news about upcoming construction headaches at the final public meeting for the renovation project that begins next year. Construction always hurts business. I mean, that's just something that you got to deal with. John Larkin owns three businesses in Benson. You need to kind of pre-plan for these things, knowing that business is going to slow during these months. And if you have to cut some hours or scale back on some of your overhead, those are things that you need to do in advance, understanding that it's all for the greater good. Engineers say the greater good will include wider sidewalks, removing overhead power lines on part of Military Avenue, and shorter crosswalks. All that is coming. City Councilman Pete Festerson says the four sale signs presently posted on the vacant lot at 72nd and Maple will help now. We've been very frustrated with that site over the last several years, but we finally did get an answer out of them, which we appreciated. Uh, we appreciated getting their attention on it. Them is CVS. The company bought the lot in 2009, promised to build a store there, but never did. It became an eyesore right on the edge of the business district. Sometimes you get a big corporation like that, they kind of make some promises that they don't intend on keeping, and uh, I'm glad they finally decided to at least sell it. Festerson calls it momentum. Bessador is a destination in Omaha, but we want to make sure that it remains that way well into the future. We've gotten just about everything that we could possibly want within the confines of what's actually possible. Now, Larkin, other business owners, and city leaders say they must make sure Benson's charm and boom doesn't get lost in a cloud of construction dust. Kevin Bowden, Action 3 News. Here's the timetable. The city hopes to finalize design soon, then put the project out for bid in December or January. Construction would start in the spring and should be done by next fall.